Good morning, my dear students. I am Muhammad Bahadin, working as an assistant professor in IS Enjoying College, which is affiliated to Isma University, Hyderabad. So today in this session, we are going to learn the third problem on the curve beam based on the C clan. A C clamp is subjected to a maximum load of W. On the C clamp, the load W is acting. If the maximum tensile stress in the clamp is limited to here, the diet tensile stress is given as 140 megapascal is given. Find the value of load W. So in this problem, our intention is there we need to find out the value of load W we need to find out. Clear here? So, first thing is here in this problem, the maximum tensile stress is given as 140 mega pascal. Already I told you 1 mega pascal should be equal to 1 newton per mm square. So, instead of mega pascal, we can represent the newton per mm square. Okay? The here the inner radius of the C clamp we need to measure from this origin point is how much is given inner radius of the C clamp is 25 mm it is represented here ri the inner radius of the C clamp is 25 mm but our intention is there we want to find out the outer radius of the C clamp clear so inner radius first thing is inner radius how much is there 25 plus from here to here thickness how much is given here 3 mm is given again from here to here how much height is given 22 is given 22 plus 3 it become as 25 total height from here to this last end is how much is there 25 so we can say that inner radius is 25 plus height is how much is that 25 25 plus 25 then you will get the outer radius of the c clamp is how much we got it here 50 mm clear that if you observe this this t triangular shape body so this inner width it is represented by b i equal to how much is we got it here 19 mm the inner thickness of this t section is how much we got here 3 mm and outer thickness of this t section is 3 mm and height of this t section is 22 plus 3 then you will get 25 mm clear here if you observe this t section so this is what we can say centroidal axis it is represented by c and n nothing but neutral axis and e nothing but eccentricity okay that so this is the inner width is 19 mm inner thickness is 3 mm and height is total 22 plus 3 25 mm the outer thickness of the T section is 3 mm. So in this problem what we need to find out our intention is there we need to find out the value of load W we need to find out. So this is the section we can say that it is the X please write down X and this is X. From this reference axis if you measure the inner radius up to from this initial end so we can say as inner radius it is represented by ri of the t section if you want to measure the up to neutral axis it is from the reference axis or section x minus of x so we what we can say the radius of neutral axis up to if you want to measure up to the neutral axis what we can say the radius of neutral axis and if you want to measure up to this 
up to the centroidal axis so we can say that it is represented by r the radius of curvature of the centroidal axis if you want to measure from the section to the last end of the t section so what we can say outer radius of this t section okay then first what we need to find out our intention is there we want to find out the area of this section at x minus of x so here we have two breadth and thickness so this is breadth is there another one is thickness another breadth is there another is thickness so b into t b is how much is there 19 into 3 plus 22 into 3 so we can represent here area of this triangular section breadth into thickness plus breadth into thickness breadth is how much is there 3 thickness is 22 plus breadth is how much is there this breadth is 19 and thickness is again 3 so 19 into 3 then you will get the answer is area of this t section is 123 mm square after that our main intention is there we want to find out the radius of curvature up to the neutral axis so it is represented by rn the radius of curvature of the neutral axis it is represented by rn is equal to ti inner thickness inner width minus of outer thickness plus outer thickness into height by inner width minus of outer thickness log e inner thickness plus inner radius plus inner thickness by inner radius plus outer thickness into log e outer radius by inner radius clear that here ti how much is there 3 bi value is how much is there 19 minus outer thickness is how much is there 3 plus thickness is how much is there 3 into height is 25 by inner width is 19 inner thickness is 3 log e inner radius is 25 inner thickness is 3 by 25 plus thickness is how much is there 3 into log e outer radius is 50 by 25 if you divide this whole the value then you will get the answer is 31.64 mm so this is the radius of curvature of the new of the neutral axis again our intention is there we want to find out the radius of curvature of the centroidal axis we need to find out we need to find out the value of r if you want to find out the value of r then you have to use the formula for the t section always remember this formula we have to use for the t section only the radius, radius of curvature of the centroidal axis we have to use the formula for the t section is r is equal to inner radius plus 1 by 2 height square into outer thickness plus 1 by 2 inner thickness whole square inner width minus of thickness by height into thickness plus inner thickness inner width minus of thickness clear that inner radius how much we got here 25 plus 1 by 2 as it is height how much is there 25 whole square thickness is how much is there 3 plus 1 by 2 inner thickness is how much is there 3 whole square inner width is how much is there inner width is 19 minus of 3 by height is how much is there 25 into 3 plus inner thickness is how much is there 3 inner width how much is there 19 minus of outer thickness is 3 so after that 25 as it is if you divide this whole the value then you will get the answer is 8.2 if we add 25 plus 8.2 then you will get the radius of curvature of the centroidal axis is 33.2 mm after the getting the value of r our main intention is there we want to find out the value of e always write down here 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 that is the e clear e nothing but the distance between the centroidal axis and the distance between this neutral axis so our intention is that we want to find out the value of e e nothing but the distance between the centroidal axis minus of the distance distance between this neutral axis R nothing but the radius of curvature of the centroidal axis minus the radius of curvature of the neutral axis. So, radius of curvature how much we got here 33.2.
and the rate of perpetual of the nodal axis just just know how much how much we got here 31.64 clear 31.64 if you subtract this value then you will get the answer is distance between the centroidal axis and the neutral axis is 1.56 mm after that our main intention is that we want to find out the distance between the load w and the centroidal axis we need to find out so how to find that is most important let us see this is axis 50 plus up to centroidal axis 50 plus r 50 plus r we have to use the formula 50 plus r 50 is how much is there as it is r is how much is there 33.2 if you add the value 15 50 plus 33.2 then you will get the answer is 83.2 mm after that our main intention is that we want to find out the bending moment about the centroidal axis we need to find out if you want to find out we have to use the formula bending moment is equal to load into perpendicular distance because we don't know the value of load we need to find out the value of w into axis how much is there 83.2 83.2 into load the unit of load is newton the unit of distance is mm so we can represent the maximum bending moment about the centroidal axis we have the answer is 83.2 load the unit is newton mm again our intention is there we need to find out the distance from the neutral axis at the inside the fiber at the inside the fiber we need to find out so for that reasons i am using the formula is the radius of curvature at the neutral axis minus of inner radius so here you if you observe over here this is rn okay rn minus of ri we can say that minus ri we can say that rn is how much is there 31.64 minus inner radius is how much is there 25 if you subtract this value then you will get the answer is distance from the neutral axis to the at the inside the fiber is 6.64 okay dear again our main intention is there we want to find out the diet tensile stress at this section x minus of x we need to find out for that reason we have the formula is load per unit area load because it is unknown because load is not given in this problem we need to find out area is given how much we got it here 123 we got it after that 1 by 123 then you will get the answer is 0 0.008 load the unit of load is newton the unit of area is mm square the unit of diet and stress is newton per mm square after that our main intention is there we want to find out the maximum bending stress at the point p or we can say that the maximum bending stress is acting at the inside the fiber we can say that the maximum bending stress at the inside the fiber should be equal to the bending moment into y i nothing but the distance from the nodal axis to the inside the fiber by area cross section in e nothing but the distance between the centroidal axis as well as neutral axis ri nothing but the inner radius so the bending moment just now we got the answer is 83.2 load into yi value we got the answer is 6.64 by area of cross section of the t section is given as 123 into the distance between the centroidal axis and the neutral axis is 1.56 inner radius is 25 if you divide the whole the value then you will get the answer is 0 0.115 load the unit of bending stress is newton per mm square again our main intention is there we want to find out the maximum tensile stress we need to find out if you want to find out the maximum tensile stress is equal to tensile stress plus bending stress at the inside the fiber is acting at a point of p so sigma t is how much is there 140 sigma t is how much we got here 0 0.008 load plus the maximum bending stress 
at the inside the fiber is how much we got the answer 0.115 load if you add this whole the value then you will get the answer is 0.13 load if you divide the value 140 by 0.123 then you will get the load value is 1138 newton so after that the distance from we got the answer is load is how much is there 1138 newton again what i'm doing over here we are finding the value of distance from the total axis to the outside the fiber we are finding the value we have the formula y is y o equal to the radius of outside the fiber minus of the radius of curvature at the neutral axis outer radius is how much we got here 50 the radius of neutral axis is 31.64 if you subtract this value then you will get the answer is 18.36 mm again same procedure we have to follow over here is maximum bending stress at the outside the fiber fiber is m into y0 by a e into r o so maximum bending moment is how much we got here 83.2 load into y0 nothing but 18.36 by area cross section is 123 into e is how much is there 1.56 the outside the radius how much we got here 50 if you divide the whole the value then you will get the answer is 0 0.16 volt newton per mm square okay and the maximum stress at the outside the fiber we have the formula is sigma t minus maximum bending stress at the outside the fiber sigma t is 0 0.008 load minus of maximum bending stress at the outside the fiber is how much is there 0 0.16 load if you subtract this value then you will get the answer is 0 minus 0 0.152 load newton per mm square because we are getting the answer is in complete use. so we are observed that the stress at the outside the fiber is larger than the inside the fiber okay dear i hope so no one is having the doubt up to over here if you have the small doubt regarding this problem please write down in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel here thank you